You know, balloons are much better when you can pop them yourself. So we just stand here in a line and wait for them to come to us, and then they all just pop one by one. And we're actually popping them two at a time, so it's going even better. But now we're starting to get the blue balloons, so... Well, actually, they're all gone now, so we don't have to worry about anything. But also, the darts kind of suck, so we're just going to go into here and buy ourselves a sniper. So we can just sit back even farther and wait for the balloons to come to us. It is also a good idea to get the sniper early, because by itself, it sort of sucks. And you don't even really have to aim, I just have to look in their direction and then they pop. And they're also going around the bend, so I have to line myself in a different spot. At least the sniper can get rid of the blue balloons entirely. And now they're going around that bend, even more. And even though this thing can pop the blue balloons in one shot, it still also only pops the red balloons in one shot. And what I mean by that is that it only does one balloon at a time. And then they're coming around this bend, and I'll still be able to get them all, but I would like a new upgrade very soon. But sadly, I have to wait a long time for that. Also, the banana trees are expensive. So as long as I take out the blue balloons first, all my issues should be solved. And there are a lot of blue balloons, and they are going very fast. But this wave actually went a lot better than the last one. So I don't know what I was worried about. And I'm still a few money short from getting fast firing. And now we're starting to get some green balloons. So we can pop those and get them down to red level so they're not as fast. And we have enough for the upgrade, so I'll just take a pause and buy that really quick. And this is working much better than before. So I can just sit here on the side and pop these off like I'm hunting them. Here we see the wild balloons going on a track and the sniper monkey is ready to pick them off. I feel like that's what it would sound like if National Geographic did a balloon series. Sadly though, it's still only one balloon at a time. Just gotta find the green ones and pop them all so I only have to worry about the blue ones now, which means I don't have to worry at all. And they line themselves up nicely for me to just not even have to move my mouse. Just gotta point and click. This is also only wave 7, so things are gonna get pretty hectic soon. Also, I started the round way earlier than I wanted to. Just a few more pops and I get full mail jacket. Which means I should be able to take care of the green ones in one pop as well. And they're also the fastest, which means they are my main priority. Just gotta line them up and pop. And pop. And now I'm starting to pop two at a time. This is working very nicely. How many red balloons can I pop in one? There's about four there. So two. Popping multiple balloons at once is already a major boon for me. Even with the steady stream of green balloons, it's not even causing that much of a problem. It's very intimidating seeing them come so close to me in the scope. But, you know, objects in scope are, are farther away than they appear. Or whatever it is they put on mirrors. The scope kind of is pointless, but it is nice to see through there. Just gotta point and click and point and click. Some of them are getting through, but it's really not that much of an issue because I can just be over here. And sometimes I get balloons going to the right, sometimes I get balloons coming straight at me. Either way, it's a win-win. Except with how many of them there are. Go away. I'll just get as many as I can over there, and then come over here. And get the rest. Easy. And we get some nice monies that we can put into the shop. I get even faster firing. And that is much faster. I like this. And then we're starting to get some yellow balloons as well. Which I think we also just popped in one go. I should hope so, because my sniper has a nice orange band on it. wonder if that means that this is actually a toy sniper. Because if it is, then where can I buy it? One round later, and we have enough to buy ourselves a tax shooter. Which we can put right here. How does this work? Yeah, that looks good. And once this steady stream of red balloons gets close enough, the tax shooter will be able to do its job. Very nice. So now I don't have to worry about the ones that make it around the corner as bad. I just have to worry about these fast yellow balloons that just blaze through. So I'll post up over here. Hello. And it looks like now we're starting to get into some purple balloons, which are super speedy, but I pop those and then they go down to red. And sometimes the yellow gets through, but that's okay, because he's dead. And now the balloons travel so slow, I'm like, uh, where are they? Oh, here you are, pop. Sadly though, we need a lot more money before we can get the next upgrade. So it's back to balloon popping. It's not much but it's honest work. And we're actually starting to get some heart-shaped balloons. And that round was very quick. But that's okay because now I can get the monkey ace. So he's just gonna fly around and do his own thing. As in spawn camping the balloons. Very nice of him. And this is actually making things work a lot better. I kind of wonder how good he can do by himself. Especially when he's lined up like that, wow. Okay, there's still fast balloons coming in. So I need to actually lend a hand or a paw. What do monkeys have? They're not exactly hands, are they? I mean, they got opposable thumbs or something, but they also have opposable toes. Are their toes hands? Do monkeys not have feet? So many questions and I'm just here to pop balloons. I really just have to worry about the big ones coming in because my tax shooter and 
plane can take care of the rest. There we go. And a nice amount of money means that I can buy a banana tree. So I'll be getting some extra money after the ways are done. And so all these white and black balloons really can't do anything to me. But they're also starting to cut corners, which is very weird. I'll just take care of those ones. And we're good. Plus, collecting all these bananas that the tree produces is very nice, and I can already upgrade it. Oh, delicious banana tree, give me your goods. And it's so close to the next upgrade. Oh, hey, look, I can upgrade it like two seconds into the wave. And these heart-shaped balloons really don't matter any because they don't even last long enough to regenerate. Oh, but now we're starting to get into some purple balloons, which are different than the pink ones. They're not as fast, but they also contain like every balloon inside them. And I totally forgot to pick up the bananas before starting the wave, so let's just take care of that really quick. And I don't even miss much, except they do. And now we're starting to get the zebra balloons. Just a little whoopsie quickly remedied by winning the round and collecting all the delicious bananas. So now I can buy the large caliber for deadly popping that I can't even do yet because the plane is so efficient at spawn camping. So I'm really just picking up after he does his thing. As a sniper do, I can really just sit back and let him do his work. But now the blue balloons are coming in, so now I have to join in. And there seems to be a lot of balloons this wave. But I can just park really close to the start. And it doesn't really make a difference. Well, except for the yellow ones. And just that wave alone, I made like 500 money. But now I made 1,000 money thanks to the banana tree. Which means I have enough to upgrade the plane for more rapid fire. And it sounds like we're starting to get some of those steel balloons coming in. Which have a lot inside them. And it's only wave 28. I'm not sure how hectic this is going to be in like five minutes. But right now, me and my plane are very good at keeping them at bay. And I suppose I can put some of this into upgrading the tax shooter for more tax, which is good because they're starting to get theirs of steel balloons. Not that it really matters. We just completed round 31. We are halfway through this. And I have enough to buy the hero who's decided to spawn right inside me. That's weird. But now he'll just follow me like a good little soldier. And hopefully there you are. Yes, have fun with it. Oh, yeah. That, wow. You do very good work. So since he follows me, if I just drag him over here like this, then he'll be even closer. Oh, now we're starting to get some camo balloons. And I didn't buy the upgrade to see them, but I can still see them. So it's a little weird like that. But I can buy that upgrade, so might as well. My tank guy is so good at his job. Eventually, I won't need to shoot at all. That's the hope anyway. Now I could upgrade the plane one more time, or I wait a little longer and get the deadly precision upgrade. I'm just gonna park my tank friend right here and then spend the next round thinking about that. After careful consideration and gain a lot of money, I'm gonna get deadly precision. Ooh, now my sniper has red stripes on it. Very nice, very classy. And my scope is red too. This is the kind of rose-tinted lenses I want to see the world through. Also, each of my plane and tank friends are so good at shooting balloons that they're kind of making each other miss. Which is a funny arrangement, but now they are starting to get progressively farther, so it's a good thing I put my tank friend where I did. And now I have enough to upgrade to the plantation. Which means large amounts of money after this wave is done. And they're starting to get some ceramic balloons, which is exactly why I bought that upgrade. And now we can collect all of the bananas under the tree. Very nice. So I can actually upgrade the hero to get a machine gun. Which will give him an even faster rate of fire. Very nice. But now there's so much popping that it is starting to get very loud. These balloons aren't the only things about to pop. Thankfully that wave was no trouble at all though. So I can give all my friends an upgrade. Oh yes, this is going to be very good. And the plane looks sick too. Oh, there's a Moab now. Okay then. Oh, that wasn't really any trouble. Except now my friends pop the ceramic balloons at a different rate than I do, so sometimes they get through. Not too badly, though. I also just realized it was wave 41. We're doing surprisingly well at this. But that's what you can expect when you have amazing balloon popping companions like these. There's really nothing I need to worry about ever, except how expensive it gets to upgrade them. And there is an upgrade to keep the heart balloons from regenerating, but... It, it really doesn't matter. Look at the rate we pop them. But now I can buy the main Moab upgrade, which gives my sniper a nice new, I don't know, muzzle attachment. So any mobs that decide to come through are in for a bad time. Really not sure when the next one is going to be, though. Hopefully after I get 40,000 money. But since I do have that amount of money, I guess I can finally upgrade the tax shooter again. He needs some love, too, sometimes. And all of these balloons need popping. That's the kind of love they get. And we'll give you another upgrade. Ooh, and he's got a nice new look. 
I like it. I also hope I can shoot these things through my friend because he parked right in the middle of the lane. Which is honestly the best spot for him. It just makes it hard for me to see the balloons. So I guess I'll just move up. And they're not really living long enough to make it matter any different. This is some serious spawn camping right here. I really, I'm really not sure how long this wave is supposed to last, but I just made 2,000 money already. And they're still coming. So I guess I can aim at the bigger balloons and let my companions take care of the smaller ones. What counts as a small one? I think right now it's the pink ones that count as small. But anyway, more money, more upgrades. And my dart shooter looks sick right now. Actually, it's attack shooter, but you know, tomato potato. Oh, now we're getting some armored ceramic balloons. <laughs> that was quick. It's so nice when the new threat isn't really much of a threat. At this point, I'm not sure what counts as a threat. Probably my guys bursting up the ceramic balloons before I can take care of them. It really doesn't make a difference, though. And as I said before, these heart-shaped balloons really can't live long enough to regenerate in the first place. And I'll just move to the side so I can get these rainbow balloons before my friends bust them open. And that was very south quickly. I can just pop the ceramic ones because those are the biggest threat. And I can give my tank friend armor piercing shells so he can do even better things than let balloons run rampant. Now I don't think I really need to do anything this wave. I'll just sit back and let my companions do all the shooting. And this is working surprisingly well. We're at wave 49. Is this supposed to be this easy? We're starting to get into some of the bigger balloons and I still have not done anything. They're getting very close though. Ow, they poked me once. Ah, uh, fine. He asked for it this time, but that was straight up like two minutes of me not needing to do anything. And we're getting into wave 50. I wonder if there's gonna be another Moab this time. We've only ever seen one. Okay, there was some steel armored balloons. The ceramic ones still pop nicely. And I'll prop, there's some Moabs, okay. Time to show them what's what with my crippling abilities. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, Moabs are no longer a threat. Sniper monkey is the way to go. And we're starting to get some, what are these, ceramic camo? That's a little weird. But they also have no power behind them. And it looks like we're starting to get more powerful balloons by default and some more Moabs. So I can just shoot those to stun them and then shoot them again and then shoot all the ceramics inside them. And really, I can't lose. I just have to make sure this guy's in the right spot and let him go to town. More Moabs, no more problems because they all just die so quickly. And I have enough to upgrade the thingy for super bananas now, which are weird blue color. They look like toothpaste. This is nasty. Why would monkeys need toothpaste? Although really, if anyone needs toothpaste, it's monkeys. Let's be real here. They're starting to make it around this bend a lot more common than they used to, but they really don't get much farther than that. And look at that, I spent all that money to upgrade this, and I'm already back up to... 9,000. Wow! What is in those super bananas? I'll just make sure to pop as many of these. Can I actually sit back here? Oh my gosh, I totally can. Whoa! Okay, Moabs poke me though, and they take off 10. Wow. So, I, no, I can't sit back there. That's too bad. But now I've gotten the max upgrade for the super bananas, which means I can put this money towards something else. Like a Moab barrage from the tank. What? How does that work? Oh, you have a mortar on your back. Is that what that is? I honestly have no idea. Oh, no, that's an active ability. So as soon as a Moab shows up, I can use it. Hey, look at that. And, oh, did I just use it? Nope, there it goes. Wow. My guy can take care of Moabs all on his own. That's amazing. And the best part is I decide when the wave starts, so I can just wait for that ability to come back. Especially since we're on round 50, well, it's going to be round 57. We're almost done with this. Sniper Monkey has been very good to me, along with the tank and the heli uh, airplane. I almost said helicopter, but that's not in this game yet. And ooh, oh, do the thing, do the thing. There's so many of them. Yes, 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 launch them up and bring them down. Oh, beautiful. My tank monkey is amazing. Round 58, let's see how we do. Pretty well, if I do say so myself. Hello, Moabs. I'll just stun you all. Ow, what's poking me? Don't do that. And it looks like some of the balloons were getting confused on which way to go. They're starting to go backwards. It's a little weird. Oh, and now I can give my tank large caliber ammo. I'm gonna do it. And it won't be long before we get the battle tank, honestly. Except we're on round 59, so we might not get there. It's fine though, there's really nothing we need to worry about anymore. Except for the balloons that decide to get too close because I'm pointed at other ones. Go away. Don't you realize how much of a non-threat you are? And here we are, round 60. Whoa, with one of those. All right, 
Let's just, yes, daze it, and then wait for the stuff to rain down. Oh, beautiful. So anyways, <laughs> those were the Moabs. No longer a thing. And we have successfully defended ourselves from the balloons. If you guys do want to see more of this game, then definitely let me know. So thank you for watching, and sub to intern. Thank you channel members including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Calvin K, Mr. Cripple One, Master Roshi, Monkey, Ancient Elixir One, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Joe C, Cowboy, Evan F, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, and Oscar B.